Welcome everyone, it's long overdue. It's a highlights package dedicated to garage cricket. Not out, it's missing off stuff. That is not missing off stuff. It's not possible. It's not possible. It is possible. Because it hit him in line with off stump jagging away. It's possible from here. That is most certainly Manus Labashane and having a debate with James there, a common debate that we see in garage cricket quite often. Uh, here's the player profiles here. Manus was our number one ranked garage cricketer. Uh, Rui Smith sneaks him at number two. Number three is myself, Lee Drennan. Heck of a player, waste of review zero because I'm always bold, so there's not much point reviewing that. James Baisley sneaks in at number four. Very poor wicket keeper, which drags him down. You'll see that. Uh, Matthew Gillum, that's like an absolute cowboy, really. A uh, couple of good bits of vision of him. And Matthew Phillips, or Muhammad Abbas, as he's known these days, uh, he is a guru bowler, worst batter you'll ever see. And Sam Hazlitt snuck in for this day of footage. He's only ever played one match of garage cricket and therefore finds himself very low in the ranking. On to the action. This is James Baisley bowling to oh, Sam Hazlitt. Oh Now, just keep your eye from this point on the fielder, Roy Smith, at first slip. So very deep. And then this. I know, so that's a play and miss. I think there's another couple of play and misses here. Hazlitt to Baisley. Has it facing Baisley? Drennan comes up to the stumps to keep. And first ball. No, yeah. no. <laughs> and you can see how much it means to everyone. If anyone's there, that Moyne was sitters. Moyne will even come off the bat at about 150 k per hour. I mean, that's a lie. He had dropped one that was also very easy. But Rory, not good. From our number two, apparently, garage cricketer. Ranked garage cricketer. The, the follow up ball is belted through cover from Hazlitt. Basically, really not impressed. And it's a change of bowling by the looks. Drennan comes on, not his strong suit. Bowler is Drennan, batsman is Hazlitt. And it's a pie straight away. We're not really sure, actually, to be honest, what happened to Hazlitt there. Uh, but obviously got out at some point, which was missed. In comes Manus to face the bowling of Drennan. As you can see, Manus wastes no time in some rare theory. Very open stance. Making people bowl straight at him, backing himself to hit it. And usually succeeding, to be honest. Oh, nicked off. Nicked off a little nip away. So as you can see, the, the, if you're not familiar with garage cricket, essentially we're on a mat that's just got rivets in it. Uh, so it's nibbles around. The ball has also had like a cable tie or a rubber band or one of those sort of bands that you wear around your wrist. Uh, that's on, that becomes a very pronounced seam. So that the game is very much stacked in the bowler's favour. See Marnus the Glubman now, Drennan the Batsman. And bolt. Neck and crop. And Matthew Phillips, that's him bowling. Bowls to Baisley now. Oh, and that's a tight leave. Incredibly tight leave, actually. But he just has the wood on us a little bit. Matthew Phillips, very underrated bowler. And this man, Arnas, he is an incredibly tough bowler to face. Sort of describes himself as a Darren Stevens type of operator. Rory Smith now in. Facing Manus. That's perfect. He's a massive, just mental. Yeah. We actually are. Well, has the worst <laughs> keeper you'll see. Uh, we actually are a bit mentally wigged out. European. About facing Manus. That's pretty close, that. Not it. Not out. It's missing off stuff. Here's the blow up. Now have Matthew Phillips batting. He averages about 0.2 generally, and that's Baisley bowling to him. He's one of the handier bowlers in garage cricket. Great batting. 
you can see that anything that Phillips hits, they would just yell out, great batting, because it's so rare. Let's go through a few here, though. Yes. Change of bowling, even. Roy Smith comes on the bowl, and that's out. Neck and crop again. Here we go with Marnus facing Roy Smith. Open stance, elaborate, flamboyant batting style that we've come to love. See, as a keeper, you get plenty of activity in this game. That's the good news. So basically, any time that you hit an object, it is worth two runs. The only way you can score more than that is if you hit it straight back past the bowler and it touches the concrete. Drennan now having a trundle to Lavish Gakni. Oh, it's not bad. Bad bowling. There we go. And again, Arnus can't stand still. Crabs across the stumps. Gloves from Rory Smith. I don't think that's actually out somehow. It's an absolute jaffer though. Should get rewarded for that. Poor rig. Not flattering that. Ooh. Just really got him on toast here, you would think. No, two runs. Two runs again. That's all you gotta do, mate. Contact with the ball, hit an object. That's buys as well. That's the other no, rule I should inform you of. If it hits the back driveway, that is also buys. Two buys to the keeper. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead. Basically back on the bowl here. Very tall operator. Uh, little Nick. Has it talking a little bit about his gym program, potentially. That's two runs as well. Doesn't matter how you get them in this game. I think from memory, uh, I saw that's a gremlin. Genuine gremlin. I think that's actually not a bad knock from Manus there, actually. And basically to Hazlitt. This is the matchup Hazlitt just hated. Remembering Hazlitt is on debut here. Real disappointment in that decision from Baisley. And that's off the tyres. Smith to Hazlitt now. But Hazlitt's actually got through the bowling of Baisley. And again, I feel like this is not a bad knock. We start bowling off the pitch, short and wide, which doesn't help. Smith. And that's me bowling now. Drennan again misses the wicket, misses the cut stuff. See, that's actually four. As soon as it comes out of the driveway, hits the concrete got four runs and I've missed the wicket again there. Baisley now gets pulled. It's the only pull shot you'll see. Guarantee. Outside edge. You can get run out. It's pretty rare. That's quite bold. Thank you and good night. <laughs> Nip the other way there. And that's also bold. Beginnings from Baisley. One ball. See you later. Drennan in to face. Love Shkakni. Love Shane. Lovely. He's away. And back to back. Couple of runs there. Ooh, controversy here. Okay, two reasons to give a not out. Hazlitt again, dominating as a wicket keeper. That's out. Bad ball, he reckons. Yeah. On the tyres, money for jam. That's probably out if we're honest. I think it's given not out. Everyone's flabbergasted. <laughs> Very common scenes. Oh my goodness, man. Let's beat everyone. So that's four runs. Straight down the ground. From memory, I believe this is a nick off to a genuine half tracker here. I believe. To Phillips, the bowler. The neck. <laughs> Phillips' is fourth wicket that we've seen so far today. He'll bowl to Smith, and it's a full bunger. And this is Hazlitt's first bowl you would have seen. He comes left arm round the wicket to Smith as the batter, and that's out.
Phillips bowling to Baisley. I mean, there's plenty of content here. You probably don't need to watch the entire thing, but I've just pulled out every single highlight, stacked it into a video. Obviously, Marnus talked about it on the grade cricketer, so I thought that we just needed some footage to actually refer to. And the reason I've made it so long, just that, to be honest, it's a raging debate every single week about what the rankings should be. Get ranked in three areas, batting, bowling, and wicket keeping. And there's plenty of movement all the time based on the previous fixture. So we really need to try and get some help to work out who actually should be in the lead in these rankings. And there's me cleaned up by Phillips for the fourth time today. Smith comes in, two face, Matthew Phillips. He's away. Two runs there even. That's bold by Labashan on the stranger dismissals. Basically, to Hazlitt. Rory again, but really useless at slip there. Again, it's a very common mode of dismissal for Hazlitt. V. <laughs> Matt Phillips, poor batter. Now have Marnus facing Baisley. It's a good matchup here. For some reason we don't have a slip. I'm not sure what happened. And obviously a toilet break for one of our fielders. Slip back in. Oh yeah, that's nice. Very nice bowling. That looks quite adjacent. Adjacent Statham. Obviously wasn't though, because he's still batting. Change of bowler is Drennan. Bowling still to Labashane. And that's met through cover. Correct. Highest featuring source is the right terminology. Nothing doing. I think the keepers had a meltdown. That's James Baisley. This is given out. A convincing appeal, but it is given. I'm just not happy. Bowler is Phillips to Baisley. Two runs on both of those occasions. Oh, that's interesting camera work. It's a nice shot from James Baisley. And again, got a few off this over. That's eight. Now the change. Abishane. Has a, not a natural looking glove and gets the job done. This is nice actually. What are you thinking? It's a long Rudy Kurtzen. Oh, basically not happy. Yeah, I know where it hit you, but it's still here it starts. That's it. Back yourself in as an umpire. It's no choice. Club of Shane. Brennan batting now. Oh, that's as out as they come. Two to come. Couldn't get through it. Very disappointing. Bowler is Hazlitt. Left arm over the wicket now. Sneaky stumping attempt from Marnus. Just been some player misses here from the left armour. He's away. There's his two runs. That'll still be two. And it sounds like the win. That was the end of the test match there. And this one was played in the absolute torrential rain, as you can see. It looks like Smith bowling to Baisley. Two runs there. Good innings from Baisley. And Mira falls down. <laughs> it's quality vision. Gillen loves it. And that'll be the end of the over there. Now has to get through Matthew Phillips. He's just got him on a string, Matt Phillips, at this stage. A hum at a bus like, really. Two runs. Two runs. See, that's killed his toe. It's a left armour. Left arm of Hazlitt while into Baisley. That'll be two as well. And that's out.
You won't hear it. I don't think Manus heard it as the umpire. We got Hazlitt to Gillum. See Gillum, he's always got somewhere to be. He's in a hurry. So he's got six there, and that's out too. I need Nick offs in this game, actually. See the eye in, half bat. Drennan falling. Roy Smith struggling to keep his footing. <laughs> this torrential downpour. And again. Up this shot. Manus. Two more facing Roy Smith now. Manus again, just clinical here. That's out though. Hit back onto the front kneecap. And rain stopped. Great news. Phillips facing Baisley. He's, through. He's got two and then another two. He's on four by the looks. Oh, and that's a nick off. Great gloves. Roy Smith. Get him up the rankings. No, he's already two actually. And he's gone home to England, so probably need to get him down the rankings. Baisley now Good to man. Manus. That looks out too for mine. And he knows it, I think. to Smith now, bowling to Hazlitt. Hazlitt seemed to go very well as soon as he didn't have to face Baisley, to be honest. As you can see, he's racked up eight runs there very quickly. That's missed the pitch. Oh, that's nice. Good take. Good stump, though. And other gloves. Baisley comes into wicket keep. It's Drennan bowls. What you're about to see here, I think, yes. is the only caught and bowled you ever see in garage cricket. Oh, I'm out. No chance. Here it comes. That is caught and bowled. <laughs> what a way to finish. Thanks for tuning in, guys, to the Garage Cricket Special. See you again soon.